Well, uh, good morning everyone. I'm doing today the uh, 10,000 kilometer review on my 390 Adventure, KTM 390 Adventure. Uh, just to put it plainly, it's been a hell of a ride with this motorcycle. Um, I had uh, ride it for mostly on uh, paved roads, very little on uh, off-road mode. But the idea when I purchased it was to have a, a, a very strong bike to travel in the uh, Mexico Southeast. B basically, is uh, uh, most of the roads are paved, very little uh, on paved. Obviously, if you look for it, you can find them, but uh, I've been traveling within cities in the southeast of Mexico and, and the bike has performed as expected out of one to five uh, scale of satisfaction it is on the uh, 4.5 range I'm very pleased with the bike I'm gonna go over some of the uh, specifics on, on what I learned and find out by, by riding it the uh, one of the first things that I've been asked is the seat. How is the seat? Is it comfortable? And the answer is yes. The uh, longest travel that I've done in one in one day is been uh, 400 kilometers. And what I do is just uh, stop uh, every hour, hour and a half. I do a, a tactical stop that I call it. You know to stretch your legs. Uh, get the circulation going in your ass etc etc no? uh, with respect to the uh, power needed to overpass the vehicles in the road is uh is being uh, the performance of the bike is excellent it, it will give you from fifth to sixth gear it is it is uh, it has enough power to uh, do this in overpass uh, here the roads are usually two lane some are uh, four lane but uh, I'm talking about uh, each way uh, but uh, the roads that are riding they are very uh, they're used by the uh, big trucks you know the uh, taking in and out the um, so um, in regards to road handling, the bike performs as, as advertised. I give it a 5 over 5 scale. The engine performance again is a 5 over 5 scale. Uh, the tires, as you know, they are dual purpose. They're fantastic for the road and I haven't had, I have rode in a rainy scenario several times. Not that I look for it, but I, I'm just traveling from city to city and, and there is rain. So uh, the tires are handled uh, pretty good. They they're, haven't had a slide, even if I'm doing 120, 130 kilometers per hour in a decent uh, curve. What else I have here? The uh, other question that I usually ask on the back is the mileage how many kilometers per liter so my uh, after doing some calculations and using the onboard computer uh, we're talking about 25 to 30 kilometers per liter and that's about without going into almost dry tank it's, it's about 280 300 uh, kilometers per tank obviously the speed is a factor and the cruise speed, which the consumption is more or less uh, the maximum consumption, without going to overconsumption, is about 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, with respect with the brake, sy brake system, it's fantastic. I haven't had a, a slide. Uh, the ABS, the Bosch SBA system is, is very, very well it performs pretty good. I like it. I haven't had any again. I haven't had a skid either in the rain or braking or anything like that. Um, some of the uh, accessories that I have put on 
Uh, basically, our uh, let me see if I can turn on the lights here. These type of lights, I don't know if you can see them well because it's almost 11 a.m. here in Mexico. Uh, they're pretty good. They're, at least you can be seen from the other uh, cars or other motorcycle drivers. Um, they're they're pretty good. I just had them and, and they were fantastic. That means they, they uh, fulfilled the purpose. Uh, the other thing is this adapter here is for the uh, GoPro. I have a camera in hand, that's why you don't have it installed here. But it's pretty good. It's made out of aluminum, Chinese made, pretty good. And I can uh, twist it if I need it, you know, 100, 180 degrees, 45 degrees, pretty good. This is the uh, my cell phone folder which is pretty good yeah. again Chinese made it's uh, done his job pretty well then I changed the uh, had a video on this already but I changed the um, the windshield I uh, added the one from the 790 adventure yes and um, it's fantastic the uh, air goes almost over the helmet when I'm riding no more uh, fees or bugs on my on my uh, on my jacket. Uh, the one that comes in is very short, something like this here, and, and uh, I don't really see why why they made it so short. But anyways, I, I think it is because of the um, off-road capabilities of motorcycles, so you need to see up front. But anyways, since I don't do that much the off-roading, then I decided to put this one, and it's it's, it's another motorcycle. Uh, aerodynamically wise, you know, it's, um, it protects me from the wind and also, especially on the long runs, I don't feel that push in my chest anymore because the uh, windshield will deflect the wind as it should be. Then uh, in the back, I bought the, uh, the standard KTM uh, side racks. They're very little, I thought it was, they were bigger for the cost. Uh, I thought they were bigger, but that's that's what it is, and you can fit their KTM uh, panniers. The, the only thing I didn't like those because the uh, volume that I can handle is only uh, ten. I think it's twelve liters, so it's too little for me. I was expecting something bigger. I got myself a couple of uh, bigger bags. I'll, I'll put the photo in between the video. And, and those are 17 liters each. So I got more uh, space to, uh, to store those things when I travel far away. Um, the, uh, the top case, I decided to go with Shad, like with my previous uh, KTM 250 Duke. This one is 39, I had the 45, and, and, and again, they're interchangeable. The base is universal, so I can put the 45 one in, on this plate without any issues uh, depending how much luggage I have uh, I added this uh, Rohart uh, fender or mudguard in the back because it was very messy when you, you went, if, it's, if it is raining on the road and all that all the all your stuff in this area will get all dirt up so I decided to put this this uh, mod guard and it has done a pretty good job there's still some uh, dirt that comes underneath as you can see but it's better than nothing I guess then I uh, had the uh, acropovic exhaust it's pretty good I actually was expected to sound more uh, like a strong sound but uh, it, it does its job nothing out of this world kind of costly also but it's okay you know like i always say i'm a, I'm a, a university professor and i tell my students no pain no gain so i apply it to myself no pain no gain but this you know it's like a province it hopefully it sounds pretty good and it does but i was expecting more uh then i changed the um the pedal here on the brakes brake pedal the, the end the end of it. Uh, I changed it because I, uh, one day I was on, uh, 
convenience store and I didn't realize the uh, level of the uh, surface where I parked the motorcycle was inclined to the right. I mean, looking from in front of the, of the bike to the left. And I was pulling some stuff out of my box and all of a sudden the uh, motorcycle dropped to the, to, to the right. And when it fell down, this piece here broke. The original piece, which was, you know, a very simple metal material. And it bent it, I bent it back, but then I uh, went into the web and decided to get this one, you know, orange, aluminum made. It will break as well, huh? but uh, I have another one just in case. So, and it looks pretty cool. Huh? As you can see, I took out the rubber from the uh, from the peg. Uh, it gives you more uh, tra more more traction to the the riding books that I use. Even though I'm doing only a road. Uh, what else do I have here for this motorcycle? Well, that's uh, the other thing that I bought. That is very simple. Is a screen protector here. It's a screen protector and also is is uh, non glared so i don't see the reflection of the lights or or the sun when i'm against it you know so but when sorry when the sun is behind me so i, I don't get that reflection sometimes is you pain in the ass the um the, i have used the uh adjustment of the front uh, suspension and it's okay uh you can the good thing is you can change it and as, well at least in the u.s version that, that arrived here in mexico i understand the india model doesn't have that but anyways you know again no pain no gain so that's basically what i have on the motorcycle then in regards to the uh service of the motorcycle it's not it's not costly at least here in mexico they charge you minimum two hours of labor and that's about thirty dollars plus the oil and filter uh, the only complaint that i have on the uh, service facilities here where i am and it seems to be the same for the other brand motorcycles is that it takes them too long and i kind of uh, inquire on that and, and the deal is that the they only have one mechanic for whatever amount of motorcycles they are in for service so you have to to be on a queue uh, you have to be on a queue until it's, 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 it's your turn so usually for a oil change uh, it would take about three days to do it and and that's something that you have to live with it uh, but i understand their position i mean there's only a few bikes why will they need to have three mechanics you know one is enough hope the guy doesn't get sick and uh hope for the best you know hope you get in and, and they can do it on a on a timely basis they call it you know? what else can i tell you about this bike um i'm very happy with it i mean i want to finalize a video saying that i'm very happy with the bike i'm i'm a police customer of ktm I can say that uh, again it only has 10,000 kilometers let me show you on the odometer here so it's 10,170 kilometers on it so let's talk about now the uh, issues well I, I haven't had a obviously a major breakdown on the on the bike but I, I, I have had the famous fail uh, ECU light, red light, which means there is something wrong with the computer. That happened at about 7,000 kilometers. Uh, I took it to the shop. They, uh, it took them a week before they could plug in the, uh, the computer they use, or the, um, this is a name for that. And uh, the scanner, yeah, I remember now. And they fix it by deleting a, a program and reinstalling, uh, uh, restoring it again. Uh, so the issue is 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 software. It was not, nothing to do with the uh, bike, mechanically or, or electronically speaking. 
and and again it took about a week to fix and but since then nothing else has happened uh, what else did i have what issue is that I, I could mention that i have with the bike so uh, the other thing that didn't work out was the mtc the um, motorcycle traction control when i had that uh, ECU issue uh, I could ride the bike ah, I just remember now I could ride the bike but the display I could only see the uh, the RPMs but there was no indication on the speed nor the gear that I was in so you know play by ear I, uh, some people don't even look at the gear number when they're driving or riding I do it once in a while, but just by hearing the RPMs and the speed and all that, then you can change it, but no big issue. But at least with that type of failure on the uh, on the computer, onboard computer, you can still ride the, the bike without e any problems. It will respond as it should, etc., uh, etc. Et no? So there's no, no biggie on that one. Uh, another question that I've been asked many times is the vibration. It for a one-cylinder motorcycle, as you know, it's, it's normal to to feel the vibration. In this case, there is a, is a minor to to mid range vibration on this motorcycle, and I'm talking about 120, 130 kilometers per hour. So that's when you will expect probably the highest vibration rate, if you can call it that way. But uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's nothing that you cannot handle. It's, you know, with your gloves and your boots, most of that vibration is absorbed. I, I never had, during these 10,000 kilometers, any, you know, numb hands or anything like that because of the vibration, nothing like that. It's, it's been okay. So I can say, uh, with facts, as a fact, that the vibration is, um, you can call it uh, normal. Well, that's, that's about it. Um, any question, feel free to send me a comment and I will be happy to, uh, to comment on, on, on the question uh, regarding the performance of this motorcycle. Until we'll see you again, goodbye.